everybody. Welcome to Excel Video 414. I'm Nate Moore. Talked with a group just the other day that said, hey, Nate, we pull information out of our practice management system, a bunch of demographic stuff. We, then we dump it to a spreadsheet. We have to save it as a CSV, and then we have to send it off to the survey organization so they can send out patient satisfaction surveys to our patients. Can you automate that whole thing so we don't have to do anything? They said, sure. Sure, there's a tool called SQL Server Integration Services. It'll grab data out of your SQL Server, dump it out to a CSV file, and you can send that off to them, and we're done. If I can help you pull your data and get it out to where it needs to go, I'd love to help you. More debugging tools today, and everything we've done so far is pretty sequential. I mean, you either step into or step out of, or you just keep going, but we're always going forward. I want to show you how to move around if you want to either skip a section and just, let's say I want to get, not do all this. Right now I'm ready to end with and then go on to range. Let's say I didn't want to do that and I just wanted to, you know, go here. I don't want to run this part. I want to run this part of my macro. Or, you know what, I've run this, but, you know, I've changed something. I want to see what happens. I want to go back and rerun just this part of it again. Here's how to navigate within a macro. Three different ways. First way is you can say, you know, I want to go right here. And you can right click and either run to cursor. So I'm going to run all the way to here. Or I can set next statement, which says, okay, the next thing I'm going to do is this. So right click where you want to go. Let's say, now, you know what? Actually, I want to come back here now. So I can run to cursor, which is, you know, a little bit goofy going back, but I can set next statement and say, hey, I want to run this next. You can do the same thing from the debug menu. Here's run to cursor, and there's set next statement. So you can do that and say, no, I don't want to run here. I want to actually go here, and we'll debug Make the next statement that. The other real cool thing you can do is you can take this yellow guy and go. There is very and that's fast and easy. You can just say no. The next statement I want to run is actually this one. Or the, and you can just drag the yellow line and say this is or this yellow arrow. I guess I should say this is the line I want to run next. This is the line I want to run next. So three ways to navigate besides just going sequentially through a macro. Right click, run to cursor, set next statement from the debug menu. There's run to cursor, there's set next statement, or you can just drag the yellow arrow to where you want to go. Easy ways to navigate around as you're trying to debug and get right to what's causing you the trouble without having to go through every single line to catch what the problem is in your macro. Stay tuned, I've got more debugging tricks for you. We'll do that in the next Excel video. Thanks for watching.